Hi, my name is Angel and we're in my bed today because I've got a book haul and a cat. So I have a bunch of used books here and then of course my book of the month. So I'm going to start with this one. This is the only like actually brand new book. Um, so let's go ahead and open it. So this is only actually my second book of the month ever. So the first one where I actually had to choose from the monthly picks because obviously like your first book you get to pick like any book from the past. So I picked The Last Word by Taylor Adams. There she is. So Taylor Adams is the author of No Exit, which I really, really love. Definitely recommend a very action-packed thriller. This one I'm excited for. It's about a author who like ends up stalking somebody who gave him a bad review. So the premise sounds very, very interesting. And like I said, I really love No Exit. So if it's anything similar to the way that book was, I think I'm really going to like this. So I'm super, super excited to read this one. Then at the thrift store today, I got One by One by Ruth Ware. I have read this book already, but I really love Ruth Ware and all of her thrillers that she writes. And I've got almost every single one of her books on my bookshelves so far. So anytime I see one that I haven't gotten already, I go ahead and pick it up. And this one is actually one of my favorites by her. I really, really love this book. So this book is about a group of co-workers that go and stay in this like ski resort basically but they're up on this snowy mountain and they kind of get deserted there and some stuff goes down but I did really really like this one. Okay now the rest of the books that I've got came from Better World Books which is one of my favorite places online to buy used books. So for every book that you buy, they donate one to various charities around the world. And they offset like the carbon emissions from shipping the packages and stuff. So they're a pretty good company and they've got virtually like any book that you could think of and usually at a discounted price because like I said, it is used books. So some of them are from the library, I think, which might have like the plastic wrap that I have to remove, but that's okay. I much prefer to buy used books than brand new because not only are they cheaper, but most of the time they're in great condition. And I also think if I'm going to buy a new book, I want to try to support smaller businesses or local businesses. I'm really, really trying to make an effort not to buy brand new books off of Amazon because I think Amazon's just a little ridiculous and... They don't need more money. This book, I swear, is like vacuum sealed in this package. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's literally like stuck to the inside. I wonder what this is made out of. It's weird. It like <laughs> almost feels like it's just made out of duct tape. Anyways, the first book I got is Have Space Suit Will Travel by Robert Heinlein. I have read a few of his other books, some I liked more than others, but he is the very popular author of Starship Troopers and Stranger in a Strange Land, 60s sci-fi. He's a little bit problematic sometimes in his writing, but I really, really wanted to read this one. I've heard very, very good things about it, so. Alrighty, and the rest of the books all came together in this big box. Definitely the best type of mail to receive. Just as soon as I can cut through all of these layers of tape, we'll be good. Oh my goodness. They really stuffed this thing though. Like you can tell it's like bulging out of the top because they did not want to use two boxes. So I think I remember all of the books that I ordered, but I'm not entirely sure, and it's kind of fun to be su surprised. Okay, the first one we've got here is Sharks in the Time of Saviors by Kavai Strong Washburn. I am from Hawaii, and I was looking for some books that have to do with Hawaii and Native Hawaiians and that type of thing, and I found this one, and I think it's pretty popular. I've heard lots of good things about it, so I'm really, really excited to read this. So the synopsis says, In 1995, off the coast of Kailua Kona, Hawaii, seven-year-old Nainoa Flores falls aboard overboard into the Pacific Ocean. When a shiver of sharks appears in the water, everyone fears the worst, but Noah is gingerly delivered to his mother in the jaws of a shark making his story the stuff of a legend. So I'm very, very excited to read this book and excited to read a book by a Native Hawaiian author. So like I said, I've heard really, really good things. Can't wait. 
This one I'm so excited for. It is Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey. I think that's how you say her name. But she is the author of Migrations, which is one of my all-time favorite books. Like, that book is incredible and also heartbreaking at the same time. And the writing is done so well. The entire story is just amazing. So this one has been on my TBR since I loved that one. So I think it's kind of like similar vibes to Migrations where we're following... In that book, we're following a woman who is, like, tracking these birds, and the birds are going extinct, and she's trying to, like, just kind of follow them and figure out why. In this book, we have a woman who is in the Scottish Highlands with a team of biologists to reintroduce 14 gray wolves. She hopes to heal not only the dying landscape, but her traumatized twin sister, too. So, once again, if this book is anything close to what Migrations was, I think I'm definitely going to like it. I really really love the cover too, just like the whole being in the woods thing. Love it. And this book is in really really good condition too, like you would think it was brand freaking new. It doesn't feel like anybody's read it at all. The next book I got is The Stolen Hours by Alan Eskins. So this is book three in like a, I don't know how to explain it, this like detective's timeline. So the first book is The Life We Bury, the second book is The Shadows We Hide. I loved both of those and like I said this is the third one with that same detective storyline so I'm really really excited to read this. I don't even know exactly what the plot is. So I guess there is a woman that is pulled from the Mississippi River. It says she's barely alive and they're just trying to solve that mystery I guess. But it's definitely a like detective novel which I don't read too often but like I said I love the first two books that were in this same like timeline or universe I guess so I'm very very excited to read this one it's been on my TBR for a very long time and I hope that I'm still into this type of book by the time I get around to reading this up next I got two books by Blake Crouch he is the author of Dark Matter which is one of my favorite sci-fis I absolutely love that book it was kind of like a mindfuck a little bit so I got Upgrade by him this one you can tell is a library book it's got that plastic wrap on it but that's okay it's still in very, very good condition. It's from a library in Nebraska, so that's kind of interesting. So I'm not even entirely sure the synopsis of either of the books that I got by Blake Crouch. I just know that I love Dark Matter, and I just want to read more of his work. So this says, At first, Logan Ramsey isn't sure if anything's different. He just feels a little sharper. Better able to concentrate, better at multitasking, reading a bit faster, m memorizing better, needing less sleep. But before long, he can't deny it. Something's happening to his brain, to his body. He's starting to see the world and those around him, even those he loves most, in whole new ways. And there's a quote up here that says, you are the next step in human evolution. So I think it should be really, really interesting. Just want to read more sci-fi and more of this author. And then I got Recursion by the same author, Blake Crouch. I actually am obsessed with this cover. It's like holographic this like silver part which I was not expecting so that's super cool so this one it says memory makes reality that's what New York City cop Barry Sutton is learning as he investigates the devastating phenomenon of the the media has dubbed false memory syndrome a mysterious affliction that drives its victims mad with memories of a life they never lived Okay, so that sounds really interesting. I think I'm kind of more interested in this one than I am Upgrade. It's funny, both of these books on the back are blurbed by Andy Weir, who, if you've watched literally any other video that I've made, you know I love him. So about Upgrade, he says, Imaginative, perfectly paced, and extremely clever, Upgrade walks a fine line between page-turning thriller and smart sci-fi. That sounds cool. And what he had to say about Recursion was an action-packed, brilliantly unique ride that had me up late and sh shirking responsibilities until I had devoured the last page. Interesting. Okay, this, what is this? This is not a book that I ordered, it's a pamphlet. What? Okay, I was not expecting this. Better World Books threw in like a very tiny little reading journal. Like it has week of and then you can write for each day. That's cool. TBR list in the front. Okay, was not expecting that. I love it. Okay, then this is the one that I 
initially placed the order for because I did my wheel picks my TBR video for May and this one is the one that I chose for most anticipated because I've been wanting to read this book for so long. It is called I Love You But I've Chosen Darkness. I am obsessed with the cover of this book. So I think this book is about a woman who has recently become a mother and she's going through kind of a hard point in her life with her mental health um, and experiencing depression and stuff like that. So I think it might be a little bit harder to get through, but I think it'll still be really, really good. This little thing describes it as a furious, hilarious, soul-rending novel of one woman's reckoning with marriage, work, sex, and motherhood. So we'll see. This is another library one that's got the plastic stuff on it, so I'll have to take that off after this. Okay, last book, oh no, and that is The Need by Helen Phillips. Once again, a library book with the little plastic wrapping on top, no big deal. This book has been on my TBR for a while, but I don't even really remember what it's about, but I was looking it up and I saw somebody say that it was a thriller with like a sci-fi twist or something, so that had me hooked. Also, I'm just obsessed with the cover of this. Like, that's the real reason that we bought it. So the synopsis says, when Molly, home alone with her two young children, hears footsteps in the living room, she tries to convince herself it's the sleep deprivation. She's been hearing things these days, startling at loud noises, imagining the worst case scenario. It's what mothers do, she knows. But then the footsteps come again, and she catches a glimpse of movement. I think this will be really, really interesting. I am so freaking excited for literally every single one of these books. I cannot wait. Also, this came with my book of the month, which I got in my last one, and I've just been using it as a bookmark. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I have two identical bookmarks, maybe. So let's just do a quick little recap of all of the books that I got. We have my book of the month, The Last Word by Taylor Adams. One by One by Ruth Ware, Have Space Suit Will Travel by Robert Heinlein, Sharks in the Time of Saviors by Kavai Strong Washburn, Once There Were Wolves by Charlotte McConaughey, The Stolen Hours by Alan Eskins, Upgrade and Recursion by Blake Crouch, I Love You But I've Chosen Darkness by Claire Vey Watkins, and The Need by Helen Phillips. And then of course, my cute new little reading journal so I can log all of my reading. That is so fun. I'm so stoked that they threw this in there. That is awesome. Well, clearly I've got a whole bunch of reading to do and I've got a whole bunch of new books that I can use when I do my Wheel Picks My TBR for June. I had to think of what month came after May. So I'm very, very excited. If you guys have read any of these, definitely let me know. Tell me what you thought of them. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for watching.